What is up guys, Midwest Gaming here, and we are here with... Michael White. And what did you do today? I uh, got first after Swiss at the Tabletop Tournaments OTS, and then uh, lost in top four, unfortunately. Gotcha. What'd you play? I played Prank It. Sick. Uh, so I played a 49 card deck, a lot. Um, which is a lot for me, I'm yeah. ready for 40. But here we are. Uh, so I play Pranks. Um, it's a pretty standard build, I guess, uh, with, the, with a couple exceptions, but we can talk about with that when we get there. Gotcha. Um, so for the list, uh, for the, in terms of names, I played uh, three place, uh, and then I played the full 12. So I played uh, three Fanzi, uh, three Dropsies, three Oxies, and three Lampsies. Um, so I wanted to just, or I apologize, full 15. I wanted to capitalize on the names. Um, so I had a very good chance of opening them. I think it's around like 83%, like with all the cards and just opening one. Mm -hmm. um, and then it goes up to like 92% going second. So uh, very consistent. I only bricked um, in top four, which was unfortunate, but I didn't even brick like in terms of engine wise. I just do, drew all pranks. Uh, oh, yeah. So, which happens. I mean, I tried to play and got gammoned or ashed both yep. teams. So yep. here we are. But, uh, and then outside of that, I played one pranks, uh, two pandemonium, uh, pretty standard here. I've considered upping this to two, but it's never really come up. Um, with more people playing Ogre, I do think that maybe playing two of this is going to be better, but the deck is kind of frail anyways, so you don't really make it to late game where mm -hmm. two would come up, so yeah. And this meta really isn't for late game. But uh, then for the Brave Package, I, I kind of consider this card a part of the Brave Package because it fluctuates between Call By or Foolish. And since I'm not playing Gamma, I decided to play Called By over the Foolish Burial, uh, just so this was an additional out to things. And it did come up. Um, I called by a uh, D Shifter, which allowed me to win. That's pretty so, good. Yeah, that was that was very nice because um, this is my only out to that. Yep. Uh, then I played the uh, Adventure Token Package. Uh, so I played three Right, uh, three Temple, one Griffin Rider. One adventure, one Draco back. So very standard lineup there. Nothing really too much to say other than this is really good. Um, throughout the day, well, at least multiple times, um, so many people don't realize that this, you know, eclipse from deck two. I think yeah. more people are becoming, you know, they're realizing this. Uh, but it definitely does create a lot of situations where you can force things. Um, you know, if they're expecting you to search it instead of equip it, mm. then they might not respond the same way. So yep, it's kind of nice. I also played the Fusion Destiny package um, with the Dasher and the Celestial. Uh, this it was something that I summoned pretty much any chance I got. Uh, this really does help with your uh, next turn for your pranks because if you draw another name, uh, you can summon it out, which mm. allows you to go directly into Link 2 if you already have one. Um, otherwise, it's just a really, really, really consistent, good engine that gets you to the cards. And I feel like it synergizes really well with the Prank Kids deck. Gotcha. Um, then I also play Thunder Dragon Fusion and Instant Fusion mm -hmm. as just some generic targets. Uh, this is insane. Uh, if you open this card um, and a name, so basically if you just open this and any prank or place or something like that, you end on Battle Butler and DP. So it's pretty good. This is a very good card. Uh, then for going second cards, I played 15. I played uh, three Droplet. Um, even though the the you know base deck or whatever it's called. Um, is playing that Herald. This still comes up a lot against random matchups and our locals does not have a lot of players that are playing Herald. So yep. uh, this is still a good card here, maybe not everywhere. Uh, then I played three Ash, three Ogre, uh, three Bell. I switched this out for Gamma, right? or I switched Gamma out for this right before the tournament to cut down on one brick. Mm -hmm. um, but also Gamma just was not performing well yeah. in the deck. Like it, I was sitting on a dead Gamma, gamma in my hand constantly um, just because the Brave Engine does, doesn't synergize yeah. with it pretty much at all. And then finally, uh, over Veilers, which tend to be pretty standard, I played three Impermanence um, just because it doesn't, it doesn't come up enough to warrant um, playing Veiler over this with the Pranks. Um, and I wanted to optimize on the number of outs that I have, or at least cards that interact with Scythe. Sure. So I have three, six, uh, and then nine, Droplet, ten. Yeah. Ten with the call by. Um, so I have ten cards for Scythe decks uh, going second, and I fortunately didn't get Scythe at all today. Nice. Um, I don't think that was due to my hand trap lineup. I just didn't really play against any of the decks that did that. Yep. So, um, yeah. That's it for the main deck. Sick. For extra, 
I played one Battle Butler, one DPE, uh, one Weather Washer, and one Rocket Ride. Um, so there's a card in my extra that I'm that's kind of fluctuating, and a second Battle Butler is definitely something that I've been considering. I've seen it a lot. I agree with it. I just didn't do it today, and I didn't have one. So gotcha. Um, then I played one Rip Roar and Roaster, an Axis Code for Link Threes. I just played the Unicorn. So for people that don't know, what does the Link Four do? Sure. So this is a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. So oh. um, just like has basically the same effect as the Battle Butler, mm -hmm. um, but this is a Feather Duster. Uh, it does very well uh, in very disturb, like very very weird situations. Mm -hmm. um, but it does come up a lot, and I made it I think three times today, three or four times. Um, so it's a good card. Uh, then I also play Anaconda, Yep. one Phoenix. Um, I play three Doodle Doo for the prank kids. Um, this, I like at three. I don't think I'm going to change it all. I do know that some lists play, only play two, but I personally prefer three because I do the full combo where you go into the second one. Um, turn one. Then one Bow Wow Bark. This is the other card. So Phoenix was the card that's kind of not really a staple in my extra deck. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm debating between a second Bow Wow Bark and a second Paddle Wobbler right now. Gotcha. So I just have some more testing to do and figure out what comes up more and what's better. Um, then I played one Link Spider and one Meow Meow. Gotcha. Only once. So, and Link Spider is pretty much necessary, I think, with Nib, but also it works really well with the uh, Brave Token package and your pranks. Yep. So, yep. works well. All right. Uh, for side deck, um, for my going second cards against uh, back row decks, I played two Cosmic Cyclone um, and one Red Reboot. Uh, then I also played three Evenly Matched. Um, I didn't side any of these in. In fact, there were only six cards in my side deck, but, or well, let's see here. Yeah, pretty much like six cards that I signed in, in consistently. Um, for going first cards, I played three Solemn Judgment. Shout out to Brian Kalina, the team <laughs> captain, for letting me borrow these. Uh, and then I also played three Droll and three Nib. Nice. So, How was Droll and Nib? Uh, I didn't side this in at all. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Nib um, in the side deck. I just don't think it's as impactful on the side. Uh, I also am a player that prefers to not side hand traps, even though you you know, you see six of them. I like to draw cards that I can draw as my sixth card. Yep. Um, yep. Over cards that, you know, you have to open with, so. Yep. Uh, I don't know if Dark Ruler will ever come up again, but you never know. Of course, so, thank you. Yeah.